Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I wanna go ahead and talk about this story. And it's coming from our fourth favorite state, ghetto ass Georgia. So what's going on in Georgia, you ask? What's going on is that basically there is a new breed of gangbangers, honey. Now, if y'all remember back in the 90s, back like, you know, during the whole Boys in the Hood era and Menace to Society, y'all remember back then, you know, gangsters were like real gangsters. They were like the epitome of like hyper masculism and they were just crazy about that life and folks were like really scared of them and they were like super hyper masculine. It was all about them fucking bitches and selling drugs and, you know, doing all types of crazy stuff another thing if you remember back in the 90s in order to get into a gang you had to get jumped in you had to get beat in by the homies and if you were a female um you could get jumped in as well or else you could have a choice of getting sexed in but the girls who got sex in the gangs were not you know respected in the long run they were seen as hoes but the girls who were respected took beatings from their so-called homies okay in a gang that way you're treated just like a easy lay and you're not respected, you're not backed up, you're just there as a fresh piece of meat to get whatever, and that's something for the guys. So, so when we're saying sex in, I mean, it's probably obvious, but who decides who you have to have sex with and how many? Well, back, like in, arbitrary? back in San Antonio, you know, they would roll the dice, and the girls, depending if they got three or nine or whatever number came out, they would have sex. They would get to choose what guys they wanted to have sex with. They'd be put in a room, whether they were drinking, smoking, whatever they were on. The, the guys that they picked were in there. But, you know, as soon as one guy would leave, one uninvited guy would go in and it would just be a whole gangbang. So they were never respected and they were never, you know, backed up or any way like that. And that was the end of it. They were just used because they weren't and taken even, seriously. And even the girls in the gang look down on the girls that get sexed in. Yeah, because we believe that if you're going to be a part of a gang, you're going to fist fight for it and show how you can fight back because we need people that are going to be down and be able to show that they can put up, you know, to back you up and get into the fights and stuff. Not someone that can throw an easy lane. Okay, who? Y'all remember all them damn gang initiations they used to show on damn Gerardo? Y'all remember watching that shit in the early 90s? Don't act brand new. It wasn't just me. So anyways, now it seems like a lot of stuff has changed in 2017. Um, when I tell you I ran across this story, and this story is just so disturbing. Um, right now, what they're saying is that in Georgia, there's a 25-year-old man. His name is Antonio Lamar Banks. And basically, he's accused of kidnapping and aggravated child molestation. And he was doing all of this inside his Lithonia, Georgia home. This was basically part of his gang initiation. And what they're saying is that now modern day gangs are no longer jumping each other because I guess these guys are too weak to take an ass whooping. They're now molesting children to get into the gang. They're not kidnapping young boys mainly because I really thought it was young girls, but um, it seems like they're kidnapping young boys between the ages of like 11 and 16. And they're basically kidnapping them and then forcing themselves on them. Them, forcing them to give them oral sex and just all types of just deviant demonic shit you know so this entire story is just extremely disturbing and I guess Atlanta is starting to have a really bad gang problem we all know that there's gangs everywhere through this country you know but it seems like it's starting to get worse and worse in Atlanta a lot of gangs from up north and now coming down to the uh, dirty dirty so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and play this news clip for you guys go ahead and check this out I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary his gang member now charged with child molestation even more disturbing police say it was part of the gang's initiation 11 alive Duffy Dixon joins us live at the DeKalb County Jail with the details these are the warrants that we obtained, and in it we hear about an accused gang member and what he's accused of doing with a boy during last spring and summer. Disturbing allegations of kidnapping and aggravated child molestation at the hands of 25-year-old Antonio Lamar Banks, who DeKalb County Police say is associated with the gang Gangster Disciples. Detectives say it was inside an abandoned home on this street in Lithonia. Banks burned a juvenile repeatedly with a lit cigarette and forced him into a sexual act as part of a gang initiation. We are dealing with a violent street gang that is organized and determined. Gangster Disciples is a major nationwide gang said to have ties in Atlanta. Just last year, federal agents arrested more than 50 people they say are members of the gang, accusing them of multiple murders, robbery, carjacking, and trafficking drugs. 
And they say a former DeKalb County police officer served as the gang's hitman. At their bond hearings, family members and friends defended them. It's unjust. You know, these men are in there and what they do in the, the community is they feed the hungry, they clothe the unclothed, they help battered women. There's so many different community programs. I, I'm, I'm outraged. As for these warrants, we talked to DeKalb County Police who do not want to comment any further because they say this is an ongoing investigation. Back to you. Duffy, thank you. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip. And I love how that lady is standing outside the courthouse making all these excuses. And I'm not saying that every man that was arrested is guilty of what they're, you know, being charged with. But I'm saying that if there's smoke, there's fire. And she looks crazy as hell talking about, you know, they're robbing from the rich and giving to the poor. And they're protecting women and doing all this and that. But does she realize that some of these guys are also molesting your babies? Some of these guys are forcing kids to join their gang via sexual initiation. You know, it's just really insane. Some of that news article that came out, um, one of the kids who decided to join the gang, basically this is what he says. He said that initially he was a willing participant. You know, he was getting ready to, he thought he's going to get beat in. And then they turned around and basically were telling him that he had to perform oral sex on a lot of like, I don't know if it was the leaders or whoever was running the initiation. And at that point he tried to run and they ended up beating him really badly. So it seems like this is like a really big problem now and they're calling it the sexual beating in of gangs and they're saying that it's starting with i guess the gangster disciples but they're saying that other gangs may be involved in this type of activity as well so a word to the wise kiddos before you think about joining the gang just realize it's not like the damn 90s where all you had to do was take an ass whooping for at least one to two minutes now they're trying to fuck you into the gang literally before it was women getting sexed in now they're trying to sex in young boys and i just find this really disgusting you know there, there's no more code of the streets anymore it's like anything goes um you know it's bad enough that people are still you know joining gangs and being involved in gangs but then on top of that you're using molestation as an initiation this is just really sickening so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing story once again coming from our four favorite state ghetto ass georgia all right deuces Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.